Good day, and thanks for watching the ACS Library. My name is Kyle, and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride for free in under 5 minutes a day. Today's video topic, covered in FAR 91-213, is flying with inoperative equipment. The majority of private pilots will likely follow the procedures found in FAR 91-213 Alpha or 91-213 Delta. FAR 91-213 Alpha states that no person may operate an aircraft with inoperative equipment or instruments unless they have on board that aircraft an approved letter of authorization and a minimum equipment list. The pilot must abide by all conditions and limitations provided by the minimum equipment list. The majority of private pilots preparing for the single-engine land checkride will not be operating with a minimum equipment list. That topic is covered in more detail in the following video. Pilots operating aircraft without an approved minimum equipment list will follow the procedures outlined in FAR 2113 Delta instead. We will break this down into three parts. Verify the instrument is not required, discard or deactivate, and PIC decision. Beginning with verification, FAR 91213 Delta states that before operating a non-turbine powered small airplane with inoperative equipment or instruments, one must first verify that the equipment or instrument is not required by the type certification of the aircraft. The type certificate data sheet may be found at the FAA's type certificate data sheet or TCDS database. You may easily search by TCDS number, aircraft type, or make of aircraft. The aircraft's kinds of operational equipment lists found in the aircraft's operating handbook, FAR 91205, a tomato flames and flaps and any other regulations applicable to operations being conducted, such as flight into certain airspace and things of that nature. And lastly, by any airworthiness directives. If the equipment is required by any of these four items listed above, the aircraft is considered not to be airworthy, and operation must be conducted under a special flight permit, in accordance with FAR 21197 and FAR 21199. Once the pilot has verified that the equipment is not required, the pilot must then Remove, placard, and record the maintenance in accordance with FAR 43.9, or deactivate and placard according to FAR 43.11. A common way to deactivate equipment is by pulling the circuit breaker. Consult your aircraft's operating handbook. Any maintenance involved must be recorded. Moving on to the PIC decision, upon performing one of the two procedures mentioned in the previous slide, the aircraft will be considered airworthy and may be operated as long as the PIC or maintenance personnel have deemed the aircraft safe to operate without the equipment or instrument. This concludes today's video over flying with inoperative equipment. Thank you for watching and I hope it's been educational. If you found it helpful, I hope you'll consider liking, leaving some feedback in the comments section, subscribing, or sharing with someone else who may find it helpful as well. Safe flying.